Dr. C here. So, didn't actually take as long as I thought. Melted pretty quick, so if you could see, I'll just kind of go up and down. You should see there's nothing but liquid in there. And our temperature is way above 90. And so, based on what it says, it says that we're supposed to melt it all up. And then once it is continue heating until the liquid exceeds 90, and then we're gonna remove the test tube from the boiling water and we're gonna clamp it over here. And so once we clamp it over here, I'm just gonna tell you what we're gonna do first. So I'm gonna move it, clamp it over here, and then we're going to wait for the temperature to get down to 85 degrees Celsius. When it gets down to 85 degrees Celsius, then you need to start taking measurements of the temperature. So your first one should be 85. Then you're gonna take a measurement of the temperature on your thermometer every 30 seconds. So you can use the clock on the video to watch how many 30 seconds have gone by and take your temperature. So we're not gonna tell you to take the temperature. So you need to remember when it hits 85 to start taking the temperature. Worst case scenario, if you forget, I guess, good thing it's recorded, you can rewind and go back and watch it. In life, real life, you would have been screwed pretty much for lack of a better term okay all right so and we get the fun job of stirring it the entire time which is honestly not that fun so take our hot test tube and carefully turn it around all right and it's gonna start to cool and we're gonna get you set up here on a ring stand so that you can see. The temperature. Alright, it's getting kind of close. So I'm going to drop this down just a little bit so that you can see the temperature range better. Why my big hand in the way? All right, so you should be able to see the temperature. You should be starting, and now we're gonna start. Um, so, temperature. So the noise in the background is me stirring with the stir stick. So you get to enjoy that noise. Maybe I'll think of some funny jokes to tell you as you're sitting here. So right now we're just gonna continue every 30 seconds, take the temperature measurement, and we're doing this until it freezes. And then once it's frozen, we have, we'll wait for four of the same temperatures. So we wanna plateau. Cause right now our temperature is slowly going down. But once we hit the plateau temperature four times, then we are done. And then we will do trial number two. So I'll think of something funny to tell you, some funny joke while I sit here and do this. Um, guy walks into a bar and he asks the bartender for some water. Bartender gives him some water. Then the next guy walks in and says, can I have some H2O2? And then he dies. You can think about that one. Dr. Burks, do you have any funny jokes? Dr. Burks is hanging out with me in the lab. I don't, I don't know any good jokes. Dr. Burks does not know any good jokes. He's leaving me hanging. <laughs> leaving me hanging. I don't really know any good jokes. I can think of. Make sure you're taking your temperatures. Oh, this is really tiring. You guys are very lucky that you don't have to sit here and stir this for forever. So we're getting a little bit of white stuff on the side of my liquid so it's starting to solidify a little bit, but not much. So keep recording your temperatures in 30 second intervals. Hopefully I'm not hitting the thermometer too much and you can see it. Remember you can always pause the video 
so that the thermometer will be stationary and you can record the temperature that way too. Let technology help you. Switch hands. Um, let's see. Let me think of a trivia question. We can do some trivia. Let's see, let me think of a good trivia question. Uh, what is the capital of Australia? Without Googling, see if you can figure that one out. I actually won a Trivial Pursuit contest with the answer to that question. I was on a cruise ship playing Trivial Pursuit and we won with that one. In case you wanted to know a little bit about me. So now it's starting to look a little bit more crystally looking. Um, starting to freeze up a little bit. Maybe I can show you really quick. Freezing up a little bit. There you go. I don't know where you were at in your 30 seconds, but that should have been close enough that you should have been fine. Let me think of another trivia question for you. Dr. Burks doesn't have anything for me. He's not, he's leaving me on a limb here, out by myself. I'm gonna have to do it by myself and it's not getting home. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's got, he's, you should Google some trivia That's questions. Gonna Google some good he's gonna, oh, he's gonna Google some jokes for you guys so that you're not bored. Or you guys could just mute us <laughs> if you're tired of hearing our commentary in the background. Um, let me think. Oop, I accidentally moved the thermometer on you guys, my bad. It hasn't moved that much. I got distracted thinking about trivia for you. Um, who is the best detective of all time? That's personal preference trivia, but that's some trivia for you. What was your question? Who's the best detective of all time? Uh -huh. Are you gonna answer? No, they gotta think about it. I'm letting them think. What does doc? Who does Doctor C think is the best detective of all time? Besides myself, of course, because you know. Every scientist is a detective. We're getting really close to having, I think we're almost to our four plateau points also. So I'm gonna start watching that a little bit. It's getting real tough to stir with the stir rod at this point. Um, on your data sheet, it has the little chart for the time and temperature. If we go past that, then you just fill it in at the end. You can add some more, more lines, it's fine. My stir rod is almost completely stuck. I think we've done at least two plateau temperatures. I should have paid better attention. We'll go one more minute and then we'll be done. If you've already hit four, four plateau temperatures, then you can just uh, be done with the video now if you want. <laughs> Since I uh, got distracted trying to think of some trivia for you guys.
All right, almost there. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And then we will heat, we're gonna just move the test tube back into our water once we heat it back up again. And then the next video will be when we take it out. So I will stop it in a few more seconds. All right, we are good. So this is trial one. Let me show you what it looks like. So it's all frozen. You can't really move my stir stick. It's stuck in there. So you can kind of see that, see what it looks like. All right, so that's trial one. We have officially reached the freezing point of our steric acid. All right, so next video will be trial number two. Bye guys.